Hey guys, it's Evo Undercover, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite Google Chrome extensions. So I'm going to go into my uh, More Tools and Extensions. Now, um, there's no really number to these, it's just what I use. Uh, and some of these you might, guys might not agree with, but it's just what I personally use on any Chrome that I use. So the um, first one is Adblock Plus, just to block all those like annoying ads on YouTube and stuff. And I know that that's how some people make their money, but it's I just don't like them. And like on other websites that I use, like uh, I've seen some on Facebook that I don't want to see, like for games. Um, I've seen them on just any every website that I use has at least one ad, whether it's a forum or Steam. So uh, the next is Better TTTV. Is this is or TTV? It, uh, better Twitch TV and it make just makes it better so or look better so if I go into uh, twitch dot TV and go to a random stream we'll go to a counter strike one and um, I'm gonna X out of my Steam real quick you can uh, see that it has all this and you can tell that it's enabled because there's a little thing up here and uh, yeah so the next is disconnect and what that allows you to do is if I click on the disconnect icon it'll take a second to load or at least it should but it makes basically makes it that so that you use less bandwidth and uh, makes it so that uh, you just use less stuff by uh, like disabling ads and that kind of stuff it's hard to explain um I don't know where I'm going with this one anyways disconnect makes it more uh, secure and use less bandwidth uh, that one not really um, enhanced steam now this is one that I love because if I go to steampowered.com which is the steam website if you did not know and I click on enhanced steam and options I can make it so that if I go to my somewhere uh, replace account name with community name and then I come here and refresh it will say my community name right up there which is no longer the only bay it is back to evo undercover so uh yeah and um back to that and uh, um you can customize almost everything on here like um you can see that this is highlighted green which is painted to it that means I already own the game and um if I go and search like CSGO or Counter Strike. You can see that I own all the Counter Strikes. Um, same with like Call of Duty. I own most of them, or half of them. But yeah, you get the idea of that one. So I'm just gonna X out of those. Um, Hala. Now this makes it so that you can basically manipulate Chrome to make you think that you're in a different country. So if I click on the uh, Hala Better Internet up here it is going to bring up this and I can click on Netflix and it says browsing from the United States but I can change that say to Canada and I will have all the Canadian shows that are on Netflix and that's basically with every single country I'm just gonna go back to the United States so uh, yeah uh, let me go back to my extensions now the next one is hover zoom. Now say I go to google.com slash images and search on copyrighted images. I completely spelled that wrong. I just don't want to get copyrighted so I'm going to search up that. And um, you can see that it will zoom up the image, make it bigger. And this is not only for Google, if I were to go to Facebook, which I'm not because I don't want to show you my Facebook, um, it will make any picture bigger. Like, um, I have a YouTube page right here, and I guess it doesn't work on YouTube, I've never really tested that. But, okay, um, I'm going to stop looking like an idiot now and go on to the next. And the next is vidIQ, so uh, what I'm gonna sh that, that's the next one that I'm going to show you. I can... Um, 
say go to my most popular video with 9,000 views and go to it, pause it. You can come down here and see um, minutes watched. Uh, it brought, this video alone has brought me uh, 11 subscribers. It has four Facebook shares, 205 comments, um, 86 plus ones on Google Plus, 14 dislikes because it doesn't work for some people, and like tweets and likes and all this kind of stuff. You can see all the tags and it's just an overall really good thing. Now one thing is you do have to go to vidiq.com and you have to uh, sign up before you can do it. There is a free and a registered version. I just use the free version because I'm too cheap to pay for it. But yeah that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again I'll leave a link to all of these uh, things in the description and I will see you guys later. Peace out.